Good morning. This is PJ. It is Monday, June 6, 2022. We have our three daily lectionary readings today. Psalm 48 is going to be our psalm reading for today, tomorrow, and Wednesday. Our Old Testament reading is going to rest in the book of Joel today. Joel chapter 2, verses 18 through 29. And then our New Testament reading is from 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verses 1 through 11. Let us listen in to the scriptures. Psalm 48. Great is the Lord, and most worthy of praise, in the city of our God, his holy mountain. Beautiful in its loftiness, the joy of the whole earth, like the heights of Zaphron, is Mount Zion, the city of the great king. God is in her citadels. He has shown himself to be her fortress. When the king joined forces, when they advanced together, they saw her and were astounded. They fled in terror. Trembling seized them there, pain like that of a woman in labor. You destroyed them like ships of Tarshish, shattered by an east wind. As we have heard, so have we seen in the city of the Lord Almighty, in the city of our God. God makes her secure forever. When your temple, O God, we meditate on your unfailing love. Like your name, O God, you praise reaches to the ends of the earth. Your right hand is filled with righteousness. Mount Zion rejoices. The villages of Judah are glad because of your judgments. Walk about Zion. Go around her. Count her towers. Sorry about the delay. I had a message that came up. So I'll repeat verse 12 because that's where we were. Walk about Zion. Go around her. Count her towers. Consider well her ramparts. View her citadels that you may tell of them to the next generation. For this God is our God forever and ever. He will be God even to the end. Our Old Testament reading comes from the book of Joel, chapter 2, verses 18 through 29. Then the Lord was jealous for his land and took pity on his people. The Lord replied to them, I am sending you grain, new wine, and olive oil, enough to satisfy you fully. Never again will I make you an object of scorn to the nations. I will drive to the northern horde far from you, pushing it into a parched and barren land. Its eastern ranks will drown in the Dead Sea, and its western ranks in the Mediterranean Sea, and its stench will go up, its smell will rise. Surely he has done great things. Do not be afraid, land of Judah. Be glad and rejoice. Surely the Lord has done great things. Do not be afraid, you wild animals, for the pastures in the wilderness are becoming green. The trees are bearing their fruit. The fig trees in the vine yield their riches. Be glad, people of Zion. Rejoice in the Lord your God, for he has given you the autumn rains. Because he is faithful, he sends you abundant showers, both autumn and spring rains as before. The threshing floors will be filled with grain. The vats will overflow with new wine and oil. I will repay you for years the locusts have eaten. The great locusts and the young locusts, the other locusts and the locust swarm. My great army that I have sent among you, you will have plenty to eat until you are full. And you will praise the name of the Lord your God who has worked wonders for you. Never again will my people be shamed. Then you will know that I am in Israel, that I am the Lord your God, that there is no other. Never again will my people be shamed. And afterwards, I will pour out my spirit on all people. Your sons and daughters will prophesy. Your old men will dream dreams. Your young men will see visions. Even on my servants, both men and women, I will pour out my spirit these days. Our New Testament reading comes from the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 2, verses 1 through 11. 
And so it was with me, brothers and sisters, when I came to you. I did not come with eloquence of human wisdom as I proclaimed to you the testimony about God. For I resolved to know nothing while I was with you except Jesus Christ and him crucified. I came to you in weakness with great fear and trembling. My message and my preaching were not with wise and persuasive words, but with a demonstration of the Spirit's power, so that your faith may not rest on human wisdom, but on God's power. We do, however, speak a message of wisdom among the mature, but not as the wisdom of the age of the rulers of this age, who come to nothing. No, we declare God's wisdom, a mystery that has been hidden, and that God destined for our glory before time began. None of the rulers of this age understood it, for they have not been crucified, the Lord of God. However, as it is written, what no eye has seen, what no ear has heard, and what no human mind has conceived, the things that God has prepared for those who love him. Then, these are the things that God has revealed to us by his Spirit. The Spirit searches all things, even the deep things of God. For who knows a person's thoughts except their own spirit within them? In the same way, no one knows the thoughts of God except the Spirit of God. And here ends our readings for the day. Have a blessed day.